other big aspect of that is we've created a locking compartment that can be shared through a mobile application. So you and I could share the same locking compartment and so without need for a physical key. And Excellent. that's where it's going from there. It's providing accountability for the items you store in everyday life. What's really cool, Kevin, is you know Apple has come out with these products, and Nike's come out with these products, and you know the, the Nike Fit Bands and whatever. Well, Apple started with this whole beacon technology um, for this Hive theory communication, and they spent billions of dollars into you know developing this. So what we did is kind of take that you know beacon technology that Apple's really kind of coming out with, and then put a switch on that. You know, our switch in our case is this locking mechanism. So we've designed our first you know round of cases for Smart Armor. We teamed up with the LifeProof guys, um, the core six members of LifeProof that started that business, and um, you know, so now we're working with them to actually take our smart armor and get it into, you know, the, the the mainstream markets. What's really cool about the business model is because it is the chipset, is we've got the ability to now take that and put that piece into really any you know anything on the go. So you think about you know handbags or purses or backpacks or you know briefcases or really anything that you want to get into. We're kind of carving out that whole security on the go market to you know, allow people that, that safety net. Sounds amazing. OK, Mr. Navigator, where are we at? What do you think? I'm doing my best to keep up with all these young guys <laughs> uh, and all these changes. I mean, I'm really into the internet. I love it. Um, um, I lose my phone. I lost my iPhone. I was in Florida recently. And I, it was like losing my right arm because I had so much on it. Uh, it concerns me. Uh, uh, I just recently put the uh, app on it so it flashes with a light. But I still misplace it all the time. I leave the house without it and I say, oh my God, I have to turn around and go back and get it. So your idea uh, is interesting to me. The other thing is interesting is I think you said that your driver's license and things would go right into the case. Mm -hmm. uh, when you, that would trouble me a bit because I'm always pulling out my driver's license so much. And if the case is big, especially in Arizona where we wear shorts, you know, you know I, I, I put my small things in the, the, the pockets. Tell me about that. Is that a problem? Are you encountering that as to the size, the weight, et cetera? Yes, yeah, so what we've done is the initial case, the, the first you know, product that we're coming out with, is no bigger than the size of your actual cell phone with, say, a live proof case on it. So we've designed it to keep it very small, something that you could actually connect to your phone and put it in one pocket so it's small enough. Or use it, a, you know, for two different pockets. You know, something to keep it simple. What we're trying to do is is keep, you know, everything sleek and small. You know, instead of the the old hamburger, uh, you know, wallets that everybody used yeah. to contain and throw, you know, your your 30 credit cards in and your you know bucket of cash and everything else. We're trying to really slim it down because if you look in my pocket today, I've got my license, maybe a debit card, a couple business cards, and maybe a hundred dollar bill. You know, and that seems to be kind of the way of the future. So we've designed our product around that. And who's your immediate target market? Who, who immediately, who's your first, who are you targeting first? So the demographics that we've kind of designed and, you know, through our focus groups and, and studies have been geared toward the, you know, 21 to, to 45 year old male market. We figure that probably 80% of the, you know, 80% of our consumers will come from, you know, that kind of, that area. But as we kind of go out and develop and, and offer our technology to, you know, the purse manufacturers, the Louis Vuittons, the coaches, and, uh, and license it to them, we you know, plan to gain that female kind of market through that. Okay. All right, Kevin, you know, when you mentioned about the 30 credit cards, he did look at you, so what's our <laughs> challenge question today? Uh, well, there, there are several you know, great challenges, but I think you guys are headed down uh, the right path of uh, great opportunity. Um, playing off of what uh, Don said earlier, so let's say someone who does, and he's obviously in the, in the small percentage of the market that, that lose their phones, um, what do you do if you lose your phone? Do you, so you, you don't have a notica notification obviously from your phone. How do we, is there any way to track it from a third party to log in, like find my iPhone where you can log into your iTunes account and find it that way? Okay, because it's creating a wireless leash between your case and your phone, it also gives you the ability to track your phone with your case. Okay. And so it's providing the safety net of not losing your phone, which my phone is very important to me. <clears throat> and it's a major part of my life. And so when you can have other aspects that go along to protect that, and so if you did lose your phone and you had your case, you can then sync on with the application, and it's an open source application. So let's talk about that. So basically what happens is 
you know, the chipset in these smart armor cases communicates with the phone, it's, it's done via Bluetooth, the new 4.0 that just came out this year, right? So what happens is you have to sync up and you know, each unique uh, you know, chipset has its own identifier that communicates to the phone. Once that happens, you actually designate your own passcode into our mobile app. So you're the only one that has it. It's kind of that double layer of security. So Ira loses his phone, right? He can call on me and say, hey, Justin, sync up to my chipset. My password's 1234. I can communicate with his Bluetooth board in that case. So his phone goes dead. It eliminates the problem of having to go through that mess because I can share that, that, you know, that password that only he's created.